what's going on guys today we are out here and we're gonna be doing some bass fishing but i am going to try a new bait this is a kvd 1.5 and it is in green gizzard shad color really excited to try this i have used square bills out here before and i know they work but i've never tried this size or the kvd 1.5 so looking forward to giving this a test today i know the water's pretty chilly so not sure how the fish are going to react to it let's put it to the test and let me know down in the comment section what you guys think and if you'd be interested in trying this for yourself too so when i'm casting the square bill out i'm working the edges there's kind of a sandbar out here Ooh, i just had two bites right there that's good so the square bill is diving roughly four feet i'd say and uh you don't always have to just throw and retrieve you can kind of twitch it every now and then which is something i like to do I don't like to overdo it though, because sometimes it makes it too unnatural. But it's really important to change up how you're casting and how you're retrieving to help get the best hookup ratio you can get. Oh, doubled up, got one. I didn't even realize I had one. Well, Liz has one as well. Proves that the square bill works. Great fish. I don't like to grab him like this, but when he's double hooked, it's kind of difficult. Nice fish on the square bill. Proof that it works. Great fish, great square bill. First large mouth. Woo! He splashed me hard. That fish I caught, I didn't even know I had. I thought it was a piece of moss at first. There's a lot of moss in here, so it's really difficult to tell sometimes if they're not huge, whether or not you have a fish. And because it's so cold, they're not hitting it at all. They're not hitting it hard at all. Some people want to know what exactly I'm throwing this on. Right now I'm using Abu Garcia Black Max. It's the 6.4 to 1 gear ratio reel, and it is a 7 foot medium heavy action rod and i have 30 pound power pro line on it as well that way when i set the hook it's got a nice stiff backbone that i can really get into that fish if need be there's one feels like a little bit better of a fish Another strange bite, but we got him. There he is. I mean, the fish are just biting so strange, but that is fish number two with the square bill. It proves that it's working. Honestly, I think the rattle trap, the lipless crankbait that I was using earlier today was working a little bit better, but I wanted to try this to see how it would, how it would compare. And I do think that the lipless works better for the super cold conditions. I'm not sure if it's diving deeper, but it's definitely making a lot more noise because this has no rattlers in it. And I think that rattling is what's really getting the fish to bite. But we did get another fish. We're going to see if we can get any more. Not sure how much longer I'm going to throw this because it doesn't have any rattles in it. Anything you hear rattling is just the hooks. So, proof this bait does work in cold water situations but there are other alternatives that do work a little bit better. My favorite bait probably for this time of year is the rattle trap or the red eye shad or something that imitates it just like that. This is what I was throwing earlier and you can just listen to that. That's not the hooks, that's all little metal BBs in there and that's really what gets the fish to react. I am, I am very excited that this bait works, just not as good as I'd hoped for cold water because of the rattles. If you put some rattles in there, I think it might be a game changer. There we go. Oh my gosh. There was another bite right there, which is depressing. That would have been the third fish on this bait. There we go. There's another fish. Telling you, this sandbar is just about the only thing that's producing me some fish today. Yeah, you can kind of tell that the fish really aren't going for it. If they're really going for this bait, they'll, they'll be inhaling that thing. It's so small. 
nothing against the bait. I just think it's the wrong time of year. I just wanted to give it a shot today to see what would happen. And it does work, but I think the rattles is the key. That's going to be the last fish for this video. I think I'm going to put this thing away and I'm going to get something else out. See if I can catch some fish on something else. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was the KVD 1.5. It's a floating bait and it was going down, you know, roughly four, five, maybe six feet. But I'm trying to keep my pole as high as possible so these fish will come up to it. There's a lot of weeds in here. But I think, I think the key to this bait is maybe including some rattles in it, getting one that's got some uh, BBs inside so it rattles a little more. Gets these fish fired up for such a cool early spring day. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace, y'all.